I'm Shashtin Gyadi. I'm uh, an assistant dean of uh, undergraduate programs here at Catholic University. I'm also a professor of German, language, literature, and culture. And the excerpt itself, as you will see, is about the very low point of German culture. It's about the Holocaust and uh, the atrocities that was carried out in the name of the German people. The book that the narrator picks down is probably a book called Adolf Eichmann in Jerusalem by um, the um, German-American philosopher Hannah Arendt. Um, the book itself stems from her attending the trial of Adolf Eichmann. Adolf Eichmann was an SS lieutenant um, colonel and he was um, a, a Nazi who was in charge of organizing the nitty-gritty details of the Holocaust. He was ordered to murder 11 million Jews. Um, Adolf Eichmann managed to escape after the war and he ended up in Argentina where he lived under a false name until 1960. In the trial that Hannah Arendt documents in many articles that she wrote for the New Yorker magazine, uh, his line of defense was I just followed orders. I had been told to carry out the murder of the Jewish population of Europe, and I followed orders. Um, I did not kill anybody with my own hands. I just did the logistics of this, um, of the Holocaust. This line of defense was not successful. Um, Eichmann was sentenced by the three judges um, to death and he was executed in 1962. This past spring I taught a course called uh, Literature and Film during the Third Reich. But um, in this course we are discussing exactly these questions. How is it possible? How could it happen? And we know it didn't happen only in Germany. Things like this has happened throughout history. And uh, here at CUA, you will be able to discuss these questions in many, many different classes in philosophy, in history, in psychology, in theology, of course. And um, I think it will be questions that touches on the human predicament and what we as individuals have to do to, to stay on the right course, to stay moral being even if situations around us are not always of that, are, are, are not always um, living up to those moral demands that we have as human beings.